Aaron Boone. Hey, Aaron. Hi, how are you? Doing well. How are you? Great, great. Aaron, what stood out most to you about Masahiro Tanaka through his three excellent innings today? Um, everything. I, I thought fastball command uh, with, with mixing in the cut fastball, the, the velocity on the fastball. Um, I thought I thought he threw some good splitters. I thought he got good feel for the for the breaking ball, dropping it in for a strike. I thought I thought he was really really sharp, actually, for and about as efficient as you can be for those three innings. Yeah, Aaron, is that that's, that's obviously a new little wrinkle with that cut fastball. I saw some about 90 miles an hour, 88 to 90, really effective on left-handed batters. Is, is that something he's gotten into the laboratory and sort of adjusted his grip on or Andy Pettit influence? Yeah, he's he's definitely working diligently at it in, in here in spring to make it a factor, you know. Against lefties, you know, he keeps it a little more flat. Against righties, it, you know, has a little more, a little downward action on it. Um <clears throat> But it's definitely something he's been committed to down here to to give him another pitch, and you know, especially against lefties, they give him that just that little other weapon to you know maybe have a little presence on the inside part of the plate and 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 to set up the splitter even more. Aaron, I know uh, Brian Cashman addressed it before the game today, but what is the latest with Aaron Judge? Um. <clears throat> Encouraging. I mean, especially when you consider where we were, you know, a few days ago. Um, you know, we're really just seeking for answers. He's he's continuing to go through, finish the battery of tests we got going on. So we want to make sure we, you know, kind of turn over everything and make sure we're tapping into this. But I do feel like there's been some pretty good progress um, the last few days um, to where he's feeling much better today. Um, so it's it's encouraging, but we're gonna make sure we you know kind of Try and get every answer we can possible To really try and pinpoint it and, and hopefully uh, put this issue behind us Yeah, I mean on on the roster now you know, And obviously you have players that can play multi positions Tyler Wade can handle the outfield in a pinch But you really have only tr three true outfielders right now I mean, are you comfortable that you can find, does that bring some of the non-roster outfielders into play for opening day? Or are you comfortable that you've got enough coverage now in the well, outfield? Well, I mean, Miggy continues to show us that he's he is potentially going to be a real option out there. Um, you know, Talkman, the agent today, but, you know, I, I would count him as a fourth, and, and, and I'm not ready to rule out Aaron either, especially considering the improvements we've seen on the last couple of days. So we'll... we'll cross that bridge kind of when we get there um, you know we do feel like we're, we're covered and we'll we'll figure it out and then hopefully you know between Aaron between Giancarlo um, it's not a long-term situation so we'll have really good options then obviously Aaron is there anything specific you'll need to see from Miguel and Duhar to feel like okay we can start him in a game in the outfield regular season right away or are you already there as Urshela gets the out of second relay not in time. Um, <clears throat> I think it's him continuing to gain experience. You know, I mean, that's the only, that's really the thing he's missing now is I think this is about the fourth game we've had him out there. Everything we've seen so far has been really encouraging. I mean, the work behind the scenes has been really good. The way he's looked in the outfield in these games, the way he's moved, the way he catches the ball out there, um, all suggest that he's going to be able to do this. So I think the biggest thing now is just continuing to gain those game reps and that game experience that, you know, you, you are, are hard to replicate. So the more he can get out there, but I'm feeling confident that he's going to be able to handle it. No, we talked a lot about the young pitchers. You know, I, I, I get a little geeked out when I see young guys like Clark Schmidt out there and yeah. the stuff I see. And I know it's got to excite you and Matt Blake as well. And I know Rafael Devers shot him here. And he's going to learn that some of these Red Sox hitters <laughs> are big league hitters or good fastball hitters, yeah. especially first pitch. But Yeah, that was a little welcome to the, you know, <laughs> to what, what a great hitter up here looks like. And, you know, trying to sneak a little mid-90s fastball. Uh, you, you better locate it well or you know you get get your feelings hurt but um, what was impressive it was just how he came and continued to make pitches and you see that breaking ball right there that guys routinely either swing and miss at or a good left-handed hitter and Ben attendee 
you know, kind of has that check swing at. It's that the curveball's a real weapon, but, but you see how he reacts to anything that goes on the mound, success, failure, whatever. He's not phased by it, and he's, he has a presence out there. He's confident, and, and understandably so, with the stuff he represents. But that curveball looks really, really impressive. It's flicked down the left field line. Foul. Aaron, how about Davey Garcia? What have you seen from him thus far this camp? Um, I've seen why, you know, why we're excited about him and why he was able to kind of rocket through the system last year at such a young age and, and get all the way to triple A. And, um, you know, I had a start the other day where he was really good for four or five hitters, had a no two count, lost a guy and gave up a homer, but, but there was way more good. And, you know, he's able to, he's got a real good feel for spinning the ball. Um, another guy with a really good breaking ball kind of has that pitch ability, can add and subtract a little bit with the fastball, um, and, and has that little bit of poise and presence, and there's an intelligence to what he's doing. Um, so he's continued to excite us. And so as this young man, as he strikes out two in the inning, Aaron, thank you for the time. Thanks, guys. Yeah.